whoa, mm. this is what's gonna happen with cryptocurrency in the end. Oh, that's for Oh, hi, I'm Dane Baptiste, and welcome to my eighth set of blackness. <laughs> Now already, some of you might be thinking, who the hell are you to tell us what the eighth set of blackness is? Oh, well, I'm black, I'm a comedian, and I'm a grown man. And if your mum still buys your underwear, shut the fuck up. Enjoy. All right, guys, of course we start with the letter A, which most people think would be for Africa. But I'm not looking to promote white celebrities as black saviors, sorry, Stacey Dooley. People think that Africa is the only home to black people, even though there are black people indigenous to Australasia and the Americas. If you've not been told to go back to Africa where you came from, are you even black? Well, I would love to go, but some white man is living in my dream house in South Africa right now. So if you've been told to go back as a black person, maybe pick your house in South Africa or in Zimbabwe and we can manifest destiny. Instead, I thought I would go with a phrase that seems synonymous with my people around the world. A nigger, SOS! Or as white people like to say in public, aggression. Aggression, aggression, aggression. I don't understand. Why is there all this anger? Why can't you use the example of Martin Luther King? Oh, you mean the peaceful protester that you shot in the fucking face? No, thank you. But can I just say, black people have never had the monopoly on anger. Look at these angry guys. Donald Trump, he's always mad. He angry as fuck. And anybody that's supporting Arsenal right now, that shit is frustrating. When they call us aggressive, that's that secret racism. Cause let's be honest, Asian people have martial arts, samurai swords, they invented gunpowder, not forgetting COVID and Martin Bashir. All right, I'm sorry, Asian folk. I know it's not all the same. I'm just saying, Europeans, they got missiles. They got nuclear missiles. Those things can destroy a whole planet. There ain't no guns made by black people or black countries. No guns apart from this guy. My homeboy Lonnie Johnson, who is the creator of the Nerf System and the Super Soaker. So the only time you see black people making weapons is when we're trying to get people soft and wet. Classic stuff. Because people are always like, what about black on black crime? What about Chicago? Well, maybe if there were more Lonnie Johnsons and less Smith and Wessons, we'd have less violence in black communities. How about that? Now, on to B. Naturally, a lot of you might think that B would stand for Bagel King or maybe even Barber Shops. Because before social media, Barber Shops were how you found out what was viral, what was trending, and what needed to be canceled. You also got a few deals on a few pirate movies and handbags. You know, just like the internet. No, in fact, RB is a very new word, which is blacktronizing. The patronizing of black people. Like mansplaining, but by racists. Blacktronizing is another way of people saying something condescending to black people like, oh, you're one of the good ones. This has never been a compliment to any black person that doesn't own a MAGA hat. Another example of being blacktronized is when people try and reduce the black experience of racism by saying some stupid shit like, well, I think that class breeds more than race. Why don't you shut your thin, chapped, uncreamed lips? Don't blacktronize me. C could have been for color, especially for those liberals that don't see color. You don't see color, then why the fuck is your hair pink in your profile picture? And you got a rainbow emoji. You see it. C can be for Christianity because black people, oh, they love themselves some Jesus. Even white Jesus sometimes. C is for clout because it's killing my people or cracker or colonizer. No, our word for C is a new word we call Call cowardice. This refers to the inherent fear stemming from white supremacy that causes non-black people to act irrationally in fear of black people. But what is it about these black people that makes Caucasian cowards so afraid? Even when said black person is unarmed or even blindfolded, these innocent civilians all seem to elicit fear amongst people who take jobs that involve being a civil servant. Civil servant means you're paid by civilians to serve and protect them. Can't handle it? Get a different fucking job. It's strange that people can still be so afraid of black people, even when that said black person is unarmed and in cuffs, or even when that black person is innocent, unarmed, and asleep in their car, even when they're eating ice cream in their own apartment, or even when they are a seven-year-old girl not doing anything. I don't understand how this works. That's why we say defund the police. It's weird that you have an organization we have guns, bullets, stab-proof vests, SWAT teams, they are still afraid. 
somehow in real life, members of the police, or as I like to call them, the Blue Cut Clan, can't get over their irrational fear of black people. It's strange because I see white people all the time. Some of you practice Satanism. Some of you even practice atheism. So, you're not scared of God or the devil, but you're scared of black people having a barbecue? Make it make sense. Here's a movie and news flash. You don't have to be afraid of black people. If he wanted you dead or hurt, you'd already be dead or hurt. You know why? 30% of the US military is black. We had a two-term black president who didn't make tanning salons, pumpkin spice lattes, or mayonnaise illegal. Also, we are currently the fastest people on earth, and we have a whole NFL. So if we wanted to catch you, you couldn't escape. I mean, guys, just relax. There's no conspiracy theory here. It's not like anybody has attempted to galvanize groups of black men in prison alongside those discharged from the army, legal black gun owners, the NFAC, parolees, various gang organizations, BLM, the Nation of Islam, Fruit of Islam, 5% Nation, and focus their strength and power to overthrow their oppressors. We are not trying to overthrow white people. Or are we? <laughs> Join us next week on the Eighth Set of Blackness where we will continue with the alphabet beginning with the letter D. Well, it wouldn't be black folk if we didn't talk about the D. See you next time, guys. By the way, honorable mention went to Booty, Boxing, Big Nasty, and also Bumba Clark if you understand Caribbean slang. What does Bumba Clark mean? I don't know, I'm not Jamaican. Don't blackchanize me. Don't forget to click, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content, or you can continue using OnlyFans. That's up to you. If you've got money to burn, subscribe to this dude. You need a good cover when your workplace finds out what perv you're really like.